Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a powerful but often overlooked feature of Linux, capabilities. If you have ever used sudo or logged in as root to perform administrative tasks, you will love this. Capabilities allow you to grant specific privileges to programs or users without giving them full root access. This makes your system more secure and granular in terms of permissions. The traditional Unix Linux security model is based on a single all-powerful super user root, which has unrestricted control over the system. However, this model presents security risks as a single compromise can grant an attacker complete control. To address this, Linux capabilities provide a more granular approach to privilege management, allowing processes to be granted specific privileges rather than full root access. This enhances security by limiting the damage that can be done by compromised or misconfigured applications. In this video, we will explain what Linux capabilities are, compare them to the traditional super user model, show you how to use them with real life examples, demonstrate how to assign and manage capabilities. Whether you are a home user, a sysadmin, or just a Linux enthusiast, this video will help you understand and use Linux capabilities effectively. Before we continue, we need to make sure that capabilities tools are installed on our system. If your system is SUSE based, make sure to install these two packages, libcap progs and libcap ng utils. On SUSE based system, by default, these packages are not installed. On Red Hat based systems, libcap is installed, but libcap ng utils is not installed. In case both of them are not installed, Make sure to install them by using the command dnf install libcap libcap-ng-utils. I would like to point out something here. On SUSE based systems, you need sudo or root user to run the commands, especially for setting capabilities and also for getting capabilities for a file or for a process. On Red Hat based system, you don't need sudo to run get capabilities or to get information about the capabilities. But when it comes to setting capabilities or changing the capabilities for any file, you need for sure sudo privilege or root privilege. And here I listed the content of the package cap or Linux capabilities. And in general, all you need is set cap and get cap, set capabilities and get capabilities. PSCAP is a program that prints out a report of process capabilities. If the application has any capabilities, it will be in the report with the exception of init. The command PSCAP A init will be included too. I redirect the output to WC command L to count the output line, just to show that. Linux capabilities is more utilized on Red Hat based system more than SUSE system. On OpenSUSE Tumbleweed or on Fedora Linux, the command PSCAP has more argument than only dash A, which is dash P. So you can give dash P space and the process ID to give a report about a specific process running on your system. So what are Linux capabilities? We have traditional super user model. In Linux, the root user has unrestricted access to the system. When you use sudo or run something as root, you are giving that process full control over the system. This can be dangerous if misused or if a vulnerability is exploited. And we have capabilities or Linux capabilities, break down the power of root into smaller distinct privileges. For example, we have cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service, allows bending to privilege ports, ports below 1024. And we have cap underscore sets underscore time, 
allows modifying the system clock. We have also cap underscore DAC underscore override bypass file permission checks. And instead of giving a program or user for root access, you can grant only the specific capabilities they need. So why use capabilities? Capabilities improve security by following the principle of least privilege. Programs and users only get the permissions they absolutely need, reducing the risk of misuse or exploitation. Let's say you are running a web server like Nginx or Apache on your home server. By default, these servers need to bend to port 80 or 443, which are privileged ports. Normally, you would need to run the server as root to do this, but that is risky. We can use the cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service capability to allow a non-root user to bend to these ports. So now let's say you have Nginx service installed on your system. You need to stop the service first before making any changes. Now you can use the command set cap and the capabilities cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service equal plus AP and the path of the command of Nginx. So this command assigns the cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service capability to the Nginx binary. Let's break it down. Set cap the command to set capabilities. Cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service equal plus AP plus for add the capabilities cap net bend service in effective the E character here for effective and P for permitted sets and then the path to Nginx binary and then you can check to verify the capability applied you run the command git cap and this shows the capabilities assigned to the Nginx binary then you can start Nginx service and when it bend it to port 80 or 443 without running as root let's take another example allowing a non-root user to bend to privileged ports we will use python 3 to create a simple web server that listens on a privileged port here on port 80 python is usually pre-installed on most linux distributions if not install it and here we created a python script that acts as a web server then i run the command git cap to see the capabilities of the binary of python 3 nothing and then i try to run the script and it gives an error ends with permission denied after that i used set cap to grant the cap underscore net underscore bend underscore service capability to the python 3 binary and then we verify the capability by checking that the capability was assigned correctly and i ran the python script as an unroot user and we can see the script is running now and no errors you can clean up by pressing ctrl c in the terminal where the web server is running to stop it and then remove the capability if you no longer need the capability remove it by using the command set cap space dash r for remove and the path of the binary so to manage capabilities first view capabilities to see the capabilities of a file or binary you use the command git cap or git capabilities if you want to remove capabilities you use the command set cap with dash r and the path to the binary or to the file this will remove all capabilities from the file or the binary Linux has around 40 capabilities. You can list them all using the command man space capabilities and you read about them and how to apply them. Today we learned about Linux capabilities and how they provide a more secure and granular way to manage privileges compared to the traditional super user model. We demonstrated how to use capabilities to allow a non-root user to bend to privileged ports. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Linux tips and tutorials.
let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I will see you in the next one. Happy Linuxing and thanks for watching.